This is just the unboxing of the Kinevo HDMI Matrix. If you haven't seen the full review, please click the annotation on the screen. There will also be links in the description if you're on a mobile device and you're unable to click annotations. Feel free to click that link after you're done watching this video. Enjoy. Shut up, Josh. What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and I've got an unboxing of a, another Kinova product or Kinovo, Kino, sorry for saying that wrong, uh, product and so let's go ahead and just dive into it by opening the box up. And I tried that last time and I failed last time so yeah, <laughs> I need to stop doing that because I'm damaging stuff that's inside the box. Well, I, I could be. I had to get the little order information thing out so I went ahead and just cracked that side open and then crack that open and look at that look at that it is a uh, matrix from Kinevo Kin Kinevo I, I need to learn how to say that correctly but as you can see it supports 3d it supports HDCP the stupid protection thing that that gets on my nerves but I've yeah I don't have to worry about it anymore not because of this but whatever I think Let's, let's talk about something else. Uh, full HD 1080p uh, on the back here. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see because of the brightness, but there you go. It supports 4 HDMI input and 2 output. So 5 volts and just talks a little bit about it. Comes with a little wireless remote, AC adapter, and the HD matrix. So let's crack it open here and pull this sucker out. It's very big. Like... Like, I have their little four-port switcher thing, and it's just, wow, that is way bigger than their other little thing. You've got some kind of little port there. Won't be using that, but we'll be using that. And then you have your little power strip here to give it power. You have a little remote, which is priceless. You can choose, like, input one, two, three, four, output two, three, four, and then memory, and the little thing to go ahead and start letting it receive things so there's um <laughs> there's instructions here i'm just gonna make sure there's something else in the box that i'm not missing anything and i am not so let's go ahead and set this to the side get it out of the way and we'll focus on this uh i'm gonna read these because i obviously don't know what i'm doing with it supports four different hdmi inputs and two different outputs Simultaneously, wow, I can't say that word today. Um, auto sensing feature, so it knows which one it's in. Smart function, when the HDMI is powered on, it senses which ports automatically and bypasses the input without signal. Press memory button on the remote to get the switch to remember the active input source ports. The matrix switch selects the input source automatically when the matrix switch restarts. Remote control, press memory to blah, blah, installation, that's pretty obvious. And then the specifications right there, if it'll focus, there we go. There's all that in case you're curious and you're someone that's interested in getting this product. Also a little diagram there of the stuff and... Yeah, so I'm going to include a brief little thing with it set up in my living room. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to stay up to date on the latest videos that I am working on. If you have not seen my Ice Bucket Challenge video, I'll link to that in the description, as well as my Hot Pepper Challenge that I did a little while back. If you're a new subscriber, you probably haven't seen that video, and it's worth watching. It will give you a very good laugh. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.